Why is a good preparation so important for safe and confident starts? Hike and fly starting sites are often not perfect. You have rocky grass, groggy snow or ice, or just very limited space to start. So they can be very tricky. Is the wind gusty or not at the height of your glider, you often don't know, because you don't have a bunch of dummy pilots starting before you. So there's a big psychological factor. And a lot of pilots, even experienced ones, have much stress at their starts. And this stress produces mistakes. So today is not about the start itself, but about the preparation and handling of your gear to avoid these mistakes and build long-time confidence for your hike and fly starts. So there are four major points, which I will explain later in detail. I know this is a strong opinion, but I think there's only one way to go. The first point is, leave your harness and glider always attached. The second is, have a strict routine how to unpack and unpack everything. The third point is, define a leading piece. And the last point is, don't lay out your glider before you're completely ready. So what does it mean in detail? A perfect start begins with the landing of the previous flight. The most important thing is, pay attention, even if you're stoked from the flight, to click your brakes right. I know people who forget it every time and at the start they are busy fixing the brake lines and getting nervous doing it. The lines are sorted at the landing side, not at the starting side. I almost never sort my lines at starting sites because I strongly trust my preparations. I just check if the A lines are still alright. If you lay out the complete wing to control every line, there's a big risk that the wing self-inflates through gusts and the pilot starts uncontrolled. I witnessed that several times, even with experienced pilots. If you swap your harness between gliders, then really think about inflating the setup on the day before and check that every line is perfectly fine. Don't attach your harness to the glider at the starting side. Always put everything onto each other and into the backpack in the exact same way. Routines will help making your things right when your mind is stressed or nervous. Learn and practice them at your usual flying site, in a calm and stress-free environment, and they will help you out in high-pressure situations. This, of course, works with every glider and harness combination. Keep it simple. Don't rotate or twist the glider or do strange movements with it. Practicing your routine at home is never wrong. The leading piece of your setup is the piece which you can trust that it doesn't twist inside of your backpack and has a clear orientation. It is often not the glider. At my super light equipment, for example, I take my rescue as a leading piece. Of course, it can be the harness too. The leading piece makes sure that nothing is twisted or tangled, so pay real attention. In this clip, the lines look like a complete mess. But as long as I take out my leading piece, like I put it in, I will have no problems to orientate my harness later on. Put on your harness first and lay out the glider depending on the wind. For this it is best to get used to pack cell on cell. If windy, only lay out the middle cells. Get used to control A lines maximum. Inflating your wing just for test purpose is not a standard procedure and has to have a clear reason. Remember, the lines are already sorted. If I inflate my wing, I usually start afterwards. When inflating your wing to start, have a really good check at all your lines. Now it's the time to see any tangles or knots or everything what is not okay. At this time, you should be able to start. So why is this so important? Hike and fly starting sites are often very limited and you have a mixture of wind, gusts and thermals. And you simply cannot risk to get dragged around there, it's just too dangerous. So I hope this video helps you to have a better preparation of your hike and fly equipment. I hope it will improve the safety and confidence of your hike and fly starts. If you want to have more of these tutorials, 
click the like button or leave a comment below. See you at the next one.